friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about a question that one of you asked me in one of the comments and that is what is the difference between environmental engineering and environmental science? I have experience with both. I started out in college as an environmental engineer and then transitioned to being an environmental scientist. So let's get into the difference between each major and then what jobs they can lead to for your future. What is our agenda going to be looking like today? Well, first I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story, why I first got into engineering and what the program was like and why I ultimately switched out of engineering and into environmental science. And then we'll kind of take it out into the broader range and look objectively at the differences between the two fields. First, we'll look at what each major entails, and then we'll look at the job opportunities that you can have with each major. So if that sounds interesting to you and you might be making a similar decision soon, stick around because this is going to get very real and very honest and you won't want to miss it. Sticking to our agenda, first we're going to talk about my story. And I do have a whole video on my career journey. I'll link it up here in the cards but I'm going to talk more specifically about how engineering played a role in that career journey. I was always very good throughout elementary school and high school at math and physics and science. I was encouraged by my guidance counselors and mentors to go into engineering. The whole women in engineering or women in STEM was very heavily pushed on me, which is great, but it did contribute to my decision to originally go into engineering. I was going between environmental science and environmental engineering, and when I looked up the possible jobs that each major would lead to, I found that engineering jobs tended to have a higher pay and as someone who is about to incur a lot of student debt that was very much on my mind. So I chose the civil and environmental engineering program at the University of Maryland where I was going to be attending. In my mind I wasn't really focusing on the actual day-to-day -day of each role or the types of classes I would be taking during my entire undergraduate degree. That's kind of why I decided to go into engineering. Now I think my biggest mistake was not doing enough research. And so if you are in that position, I would encourage you to, after this video, watch plenty more and actually talk to people in your community who might have more experience. But what my research was lacking was informational interviews with real environmental engineers and real environmental scientists. And I also wasn't looking explicitly at the courses that I would be taking. What I would have uncovered if I had done that research, and this is leading into why I changed my mind, is because the program at the University of Maryland is civil and environmental engineering. And I will say, the University of Maryland has one of the best engineering programs, and that is a big reason why I chose to do engineering with the University of Maryland. But their engineering school was literally named after someone who founded a construction company. As you can imagine, their civil and environmental engineering program was really heavily focused on construction. I think there was an entire course simply on concrete and as someone who was really into the environment and natural sciences, that was really not appealing to me. Once I kind of learned that that is what I had signed up for, I had to weigh the different options. One, I could have stuck with civil and environmental engineering knowing that when I graduated, I could get a role that was more environmentally focused. Two, I could have transferred schools to an environmental engineering program that more closely aligned with what I was interested in. Three, I could stay at the University of Maryland and switch majors. Well, I had already established a community at the University of Maryland, so I didn't really want to transfer. I didn't really want to go through four years of classes that I did not enjoy just to get a job that paid a little bit more. So ultimately I decided to switch majors and go into environmental science and policy, and I really do not regret that. The Mila is also going to be giving some advice about careers and sustainability. Yes. So the environmental science and policy program at the University of Maryland specifically is really interdisciplinary and that was something I was very interested in. I had a very broad range of the courses that I could take and I could almost tailor my course load to my specific interests. So I focused more on biodiversity and conservation courses and took 
actual like biology and chemistry classes along with some more policy focused classes like law and environmental policy. I was really happy that I made that switch. However, I am just, again, one opinion, and this is just my own experience at one singular university. So depending on what the programs look like at your university, your journey could look a lot different. So the ultimate thing I would say here is to just make sure that you're doing your research about the different course loads and also what the alumni of that program are doing now. So I know both the engineering and environmental programs at UMD listed some of their alumni and if you reach out to them that might be your best source of information to help you guide this decision. So that's my story. I wanted to also touch on some quick points about environmental engineers and environmental scientists so you can kind of see where you're going if you choose either one. So we'll start on the course load for both environmental engineers and environmental scientists. Obviously, this will change depending on the school that you're going to and the specific program that you're looking at. For example, some environmental engineering programs focus a lot on hydrology and water science, and then some, like the one at UMD, focus more on civil engineering and environmental health and safety aspects of construction sites and things like that. Generally, the courses in an environmental engineering degree will have a lot more math courses, physics courses, engineering courses, of course, and a couple of electives sprinkled in there. Your environmental science programs will be more focused on biology, chemistry, with some math and physics sprinkled in. You won't be taking the higher levels of those topics as you would in engineering. With environmental science courses, you're also doing a lot of lab and or field work depending on the capabilities of your school. And a lot of times these programs do integrate a policy aspect, whether that's law class or a policy class or even an international relations class, because right now the environment is so tied to policy. Okay, so let's talk about skills. With environmental engineering, you'll be looking at a lot of technical skills. So that would be data analysis, modeling, some coding, even depending on the program and then also learning different testing and lab techniques specific to environmental engineering. Now with environmental sciences a lot of the skills boil down to research projects. You'll be learning your research techniques. A lot of them will also look at spatial modeling or GIS skills as well as taking field samples and analyzing those field samples. Okay so that's kind of the difference between the two majors but let's get into what each job would look like after you graduate and the differences between the two. Now I do talk about environmental engineers a little bit in my top 10 highest paying careers video, which I'll link up there probably. Environmental engineers make an average salary of 71,000 to 92,000, which is a big range, but it does really depend on the firm and the type of work that you, you are doing. A lot of their work does focus on pollution mitigation. Some of the projects do involve waste management and looking at like sewage systems and things like that. Some engineering jobs do focus a lot on hydrology or water science and improving water systems, especially in larger cities. They also will be applying a lot of the skills that we talked about from their major to their jobs. So that would be taking field samples and analyzing those in the labs, running tests and developing models for different scenarios related to the specific environment that they're looking at. But it really does depend what your industry is that you decided to go into. Now on the flip side, in environmental scientists, a lot of their work can look the same as environmental engineers. So right now in DC, the from salary.com, the range for environmental scientists is 92,000 to 115,000. That's crazy. That's a lot higher than when I was originally looking, oh my gosh, six years ago at going into college and choosing my major. Obviously that's an average, not taking into account number of years of experience or industry or anything like that. Generally what they'd be doing for that salary would be a lot of what the engineer is doing as well, which would be going into the field and taking samples and then bringing those samples back to the lab and running an analyses, presenting the results of those analyses to um, clients or governments. And then they'll also do some modeling for future scenarios of the environment that they're focused on. So ultimately, what does this all mean? 
by Mila. It really boils down to what kind of skills you want to be using and whether or not you want to go more into those physics and math courses in college or whether you want to go more into the natural sciences. So my biggest piece of advice would be to take the schools that you're applying to or have already gotten accepted into, looking at the current students of that school or perhaps the alumni of your program and reaching out to them. You can message them on LinkedIn and set up a time to talk on the phone or just message them your questions that you have about the program and about the jobs that you can get after you graduate from that program. That way you can compare and contrast the actual experiences of folks that went to that program, went through those courses that you're interested in going into, because each college can have wildly different programs, which each have wildly different course loads. Not even to mention, different professors can teach the same course, but they can look like very different classes depending on the professor that you go to. So it really depends on a lot of factors and you want to make sure that you're considering all of those factors in your decision on whether or not to choose environmental engineering or environmental science. So this was a very specific topic. Let me know if you liked seeing specific topics like this, and if so, let me know in the comments what other specific topics you'd be interested in hearing about. Thank you for staying to the end. Please feel free to subscribe and like this video. It really means a lot and helps out the channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye.